Hello everyone and welcome back to the course. Today we will learn about the Google Earth Engine's code editor. You can access the code editor using this URL within your browser. As an alternative, you can go to the home page, hover over platform and then click on code editor. It will take you to the same window as we can see here. This code editor is an interface with which you can access petabytes of Google Earth Engine's planetary data using JavaScript programming language. As an alternative, you can also use Python within your integrated development environments installed on your system. We will look into that at the end of this. Here in the code editor, we will write JavaScript to access datasets, perform analysis, and devise different applications for geospatial processes. As an example, let's write our first code here. Now, if you click on run here, let's see what happens. See, you can see the hello world printed here in the console. Now, you see a small error or a message here. It says that it is a missing semicolon. Now, uh, as a general syntactical rule, uh, you end JavaScript lines with a semicolon. So let's put that here. Other than that, you have an inspector here. If, um, now, the purpose of the inspector is to inspect different pixel values or datasets or information at a specific point in the map window here. Now, if you click on any point here, you see it prints the latitude, longitude, zoom level in scale in the inspector uh, sidebar. It keeps changing depending on where I click my mouse. We currently do not have any layer or satellite imagery loaded here, but if we had that, if we clicked on any point here, we will see that the inspector sidebar would show us pixel values for different bands here. The second thing here is the console as we already discussed here, which will print different messages, logs, error logs, depending on our code here. The last bit is, is the task window. The task window will show us progress bar, uh, progress information, time remaining of different algorithms, processes, and export tasks. For example, if you have any image loaded here that you want to export to your Google Drive and then download from your Google Drive, uh, the script progress will show us here. Uh, let me just zoom into the screen a little bit. Now, uh, the bottom part of the screen is the visualization window where you can see that you have different toggles. If we toggle or click on satellite here, it will give us a satellite view uh, on which we can zoom in and see a relatively high uh, resolution imagery of that area. Secondly, we have different uh, controls here like drawing, uh, adding a marker, adding a line, polygon, or rectangle. For example, if you click on add polygon or draw shape here, we can click on different points to click uh, to create or store the geometry. And where you want to finish drawing, you just need to double click the mouse there. It will create those geometries for us. And you can see it has stored or in created a variable named geometry here, um, which is eight vertices and two elements. Uh, see, it, you can see the details here. Uh, these are the details or the vertices of the second polygon that we created. Uh, you can also delete the, those. For example, if you want uh, to delete these polygons, we can uh, hover over a mouse on the geometry imports um, click on the setting button here and click on delete. Yes, uh, those are gone. The last important part of the code editor is the script management window here. You can expand or contract it using this slider here. 
you can see I already have some saved scripts here. If you want to save your script here in your owner panel or folder here, you can click on save or save as. Give the file a name here. I write learning one and click OK. You will see a file generated here called learning one. If I click on it, the script will be loaded here. Now, if we want to share the script with anyone, I can click on get link here. It will generate a link in the URL of my browser. I can copy that URL and share it with anyone. Now, anyone who loads this URL will have access to this code and can run it accordingly or modify it. On top of that, we have different example or sample scripts here. For example, uh, if you scroll down here, you can see that you have different images, image collections, feature collections, or uh, chart sample scripts here. For example, if I click on elevation histogram, elevation profile, image spectra here, it will load the re uh, relevant or the specific script in the script window. For example, I clicked on it, it loaded a script here, now you can run it. And you see the chart generated here in the console. Another element here is the documents bar. You see, you have documents for different algorithms and methods or functions of the Google Earth Engine platform in this documents bar. You can access information or read about different algorithms here or see how they are used, what are their inputs, and what are the outputs. So this is all for today's window. I hope you will practice it on your own and we will later learn how to write these scripts and generate these beautiful charts on our own in the later videos. Thank you.